In this Office 365 tip, I'm going to show you how to create or design icons for your SharePoint online um, site in PowerPoint. So I will be inserting a web part here called Quick Links, where I'm going to be wanting to use little buttons that I can um, use to navigate to different things. So let's go back to SharePoint. So in SharePoint, I'm going to insert shapes. So keep your shift in when you draw the circle, for example. And um, the coloring I always use um, is this bottom one, which has a little bit of a space around it because of the shadow. And you will see what I mean by that, because when you bring it in onto SharePoint, it actually um, needs that little bit of a space to just keep the shape round. So um, let's use that in blue. I'm going to do another one just uh, in yellow. And then I'll add another shape. So um, let's just copy that shape. I'll go to Format, Edit Shape. And I'll bring in a square as well to show you what uh, what the square looks like. So just to make sure that I picked the right one. So remember, I'm, I'm choosing the bottom one, which has got a bit of a shadow around it, because that really just helps to bring the space in around the button on the web page. So of course, icons got bought out uh, in the last two years as well. So um, my three buttons I want to use as uh, one of them will be for um, for employees in the company, so, um, or let's say for family responsibility leave, for example, the one will be for uh, help desk, and um, another one that I'll use will be for PC training. So uh, let's just insert those. Once I've inserted them, of course, you can change the colors on these buttons. Um, and I just want to make them a little bit smaller. So again, keeping my shift in and dragging it from the side so that I don't lose aspect ratio. So I'll just show you what these different ones looks like by using um, different colors on them. And um, there we go. So even that could work. Um, let's see if we can find another one just to, for the craziness of it. What I then do is that I select both the images. So I select the circle and the icon on top of it. I'm going to group it and then right click save as picture logo um, 01 and I'm going to do the same with the next one firstly I want to group them and then I'm going to right click and save it as logo 02 and we'll go back to our SharePoint site and on this site I'm going to put it into edit mode and below my hero web part I'm going to insert the quick links web part. So it's not links because links actually just takes you to a web page with a, a little synopsis and a photo or an image, but I'm going to be using quick links. As soon as I insert the quick links, I can then um, add a link. So the first thing it asks for is just the link it must go to. So I'm going to choose just to, to go to the home page for now. And then I'm going to change the image to one of those images that I just uploaded. So let's use logo one, add image. And then I'm going to add another one. Again, I'm going to just for now point it to the home page. We'll edit that um, and use one of the other icons. Let's just use uh, the square one. And then also um, add another one. And uh, again, just send it to my home page for now. And once it's there, I can change the icon as well to one of the icons that I've designed image and let's uh, save the page so remember that quick links web part is set to um, actually display the little icons let me just uh, show you so at the moment it's on compact which is the little icons or it can be on film strip which is the little square images well I hope that you'll enjoy making icons for your SharePoint online sites and uh, see how easy it is to actually just do it with uh, with SharePoint and to create some really um, something really beautiful.